In this video, I'll talk about car on a hill. So we have a car at the top of a hill and it is almost to run out of the gas. And the gas station is onto the another peak of the hill. Now the question is how much the velocity or the kinetic energy this car has to be in order to reach to the, the gas station. And we assume the entire system is under a conservative force. The conservative force or the conservative field is the field in which the total mechanical energy of the system is conserved, just like a gravitational field. The total, or there is, we assume there is no friction force as well. So how are you going to solve this problem? If this car does not have any velocity or any speed, that the maximum height it can get is to this height. Because when you release, all the potential energy will change into the kinetic energy. And again, this kinetic energy will change into the potential energy. So the maximum height it can get to is this height. So you must need some additional a speed that needs to be imparted to the car so that it can reach to the gas station and how much is the speed required at this point or it all or in other words what is the minimum speed required to make this car to get to the gas station so let's find it out so the height of this uh, hill onto which the car is, is 20 meter, and the gas station is at the height of 30 meter. But the, if this is a conservative field, and the total kinetic energy at any point must be exactly the same. So in order for, if this can reach to the gas station under the conservative force, then the total energy at point one has to be equal to the total energy at point two. When I say the total energy, that it includes the kinetic energy and, and the potential energy or gravitational potential energy. So, so the total energy at point one is equal to total energy at point two. This is coming from the conservation of energy. Uh, the total energy at this point is kinetic energy plus potential energy. Even at this point too, uh, the total energy includes kinetic energy plus potential energy. The kinetic energy at this point is half mass V minimum square. Why I am adding V minimum? Because we're trying to find out the minimum speed that makes this car to go to the gas station. And the potential energy or gravitational potential energy at this point is mgh i'll just like you to make a note of this one the gravitational potential energy the gravitational potential energy the formula is equal to mgh m is the mass g is the acceleration due to gravity h is the height so from this ground level to this height Similarly, the kinetic energy at this point, at point two, is zero. And why is it zero? Because the car just makes it to the, the gas station or just barely reaches to the, the gas station. So there is no speed at all. So it just gets there. So that's why the, uh, the kinetic energy at that point is zero. And the potential energy at this point is mgh2, which is this height. So now the mass, mass and this mass cancels out. So it is entirely independent of the mass. And if we solve for the speed, what we get is square root of 2g h2 minus h1. So this one turns out to be a very simple equation. So, so, so this is what it is, h2 minus h1. So 2g value is 9.8, h is 30 meter here and h1 is 20 meter and if we do the math then the minimum speed is 14 meter per second 
and here we assume there is no friction force at all okay so with this minimum speed the car just reach to this gas station okay now i would like you to do one more thing here what is the speed of the car at this point which is 25 meter from the ground calculate the speed at the uh, at, at the point which is 25 meter from the ground and write down your answer in the comment section below so this is it and again if you have any questions write down your questions in the comment section below and do not forget to like share and subscribe the channel thank you very much